In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crack a WPA wireless network, uh, WPA encrypted. Uh, WPA is similar to that of WEP, as in they're both uh, security authentication methods. However, with WEP, it was fairly vulnerable because its way of uh, authenticating was submitting hashes on a regular basis um, through IVs, which would be initialization vectors. And because of that, we could just easily sniff the IVs, gather them, accumulate them, and then crack it. However, with WPA, it's a little different. Um, WPA's way of authenticating is basically by doing a four-way handshake, um, which means a computer that wants to connect to a network will send a signal to the router stating it wants to connect. And then at that point, they would uh, compare salted hashes. Now, by, when I say salted hash, I mean the every hash is specific to the network, basically, because every network will have what's called an SSID, which is pretty much just the name of the network and be, and every uh, hash is salted with that so it'll be specific it's not like you can just carry around one hash and crack all the networks in the world and the reason they did that was for a uh, security purpose make it a little bit more secured so um, I, that might sound a little confusing at this point but I'm gonna go and elaborate further by continuing on with this tutorial so let me just switch to an easier desktop here use my hell desktop okay it's a little bit easier to see now, um, for this, I recommend using Backtrack as uh, your distro of choice. However, um, you can some Windows operating systems are compatible with Airmon, which is the tool we're going to be using. Um, but I do recommend using Linux for this because compatibility is a lot higher. Uh, I also recommend Backtrack specifically as far as distros go because it has everything you need already incorporated, um, drivers and everything. I have my Backtrack distro set up in a virtual machine through VMware Workstation. Um, you can either deploy this by installing on your hard drive using a virtual machine like I do or using a live CD. And if you don't know how to make a live CD all you do is just get the ISO which is the CD image of the distro burn it to a CD and then boot off the CD. Um, it also if you want to use a virtual machine there's plenty of tutorials already out there on my WEP uh, tutorial I show how to how to install it into a uh, virtual machine also I might end up making another tutorial on how to do it so if I do so I'll add an annotation or something then you be aware of that. But anyways, continuing on before I digress too much. Okay, once you're in your backtrack environment or whichever distro you're using, first thing you're going to want to do is open up a shell console, and there'll be an icon down here for that. And also in this instance, I'm going to open up Kate, which is basically a, a version of uh, K, right? So I'm going to have that open. The reason I'm doing this is just to notate information down, make it a little easier to see here. And uh, once in your shell console, you want to type in airmon, type in ng, and hit enter. And I need to log in as an admin first. Okay, great. Okay, and then you'll see your interface name. So we want to notate this down. WLAN0, this is going to be our interface. Oops, forgot I changed this. Okay. Uh, next thing we should probably want to probably gather is the uh, MAC address or our MAC address. And to do see our MAC address, we'll type in MAC changer, hyphen space ha hyphen s for show, and then our interface name, which is WLAN0, press enter, and there's our current MAC address. Now, also, you may not feel comfortable with your MAC address being the real thing when you do this. Um, you can also change it with MAC changer. You just type in MAC changer, space, hyphen m, and then the desired MAC address, so just a set of six different characters and then your interface name and I'll change it for you. You can just specify that instead. Um, now once we have this information down we can go ahead and let me space this out here. Okay we can switch back to our shell console and now we want to see available networks near us that we can potentially crack. So we do arrow dump space or arrow dump hyphen ng space and then our interface name which will be WLAN0 in this case and hit enter. Okay I'm just going to expand this make it a little easier to see here. Okay, in this example, uh, first thing I need to point out is the authentication method. We're going to be looking for WE, WPA or WPA2 encrypted networks. And authentication needs to be PSK, uh, PSK to make sure the passcode is shared. And in this example, I'm going to use my own network. I have this set up just to make things a little bit faster here. It's going to be Leet Network. So I'm just going to copy this entire line here for reference. I'm going to break it down a bit here. So I'm going to paste this in my Kate. I'm going to start getting some information here. My BSID, which will be the access points MAC address, I can notate down. And in this instance, we'll see here the BSSID is going to be this right here, which I have notated down here. So I'm just going to copy this and label it as a BSSID. Um, also, what we want to notate down is the ESSID. And that's going to be the name of the network, as we see over here, which is Leet Network in this case. 
Okay, and we also want to notate down the channel. Uh, channel in this case, C, no, uh, notated by CH is going to be 6. So we're going to just copy that down, 6. And so far, this is all the information we're going to need at this point. So we're going to proceed. So now that we have all the information, we want to go ahead and uh, s proceed on this specific network. So we're going to just type in arrow dump hyphen ng. And we want to notate the BSS ID, which is going to be the one right here, the one we notated down in uh, Kate. Actually, I'm just going to notate this, these commands here to make it a little bit easier. So we just copy and paste. And we're going to copy this BSS ID right here. And do space hyphen W for the right command. We're going to name this, uh, let's just name it my WPA. And then space hyphen C for uh, channel. We're going to make the channel 6 as it is for this network. And then we're going to specify our adapter interface, which is WLAN 0, and press enter. And now that we have the information, we're going to just uh, copy it down here and paste it into our terminal or shell console. And go ahead and press enter. And actually, I did mean that I mistyped it, a little syntax error. It's going to be uh, two hyphens there, by the way, in case you didn't know that already. Okay. Hit enter, and that should start sniffing this network. And normally, if you're doing WEP, this is all you need to do. You need to uh, obtain initialization vectors through this data flow right here. And um, the main thing we want to watch for is to see if there's a station on network. To crack WPA, you're going to need a station already on the network. So right here, I have a laptop next to me, actually, that's connected to my network. And I'm just going to copy their station ID. Now, their station ID is basically just the system's MAC address. And we need this in order to obtain that uh, handshake that takes place. So I'm going to just control C to stop this. I'm going to highlight this and copy this over to our Kate right here. I'm just going to label this their MAC address. And notate it there. Okay, now we can proceed with the next step. And for the next step, what we need to do is we need to deauthenticate this client right here. Basically, we need to make them a... Uh, lose connection really quick and then hop right back on just so they can reauthenticate, which is give us a chance to obtain that handshake which apparently already took place I don't know how that took place uh, actually it's because this computer was asleep and I just woke it up but anyways just pretend that's not there um, normally in your window this won't even show for you so let's go ahead and proceed with the next step so the command to deauthenticate this client is going to be air e play so I or a I R E play hyphen ng space hyphen zero to signify that's a deauthenticate command and then space 15 it's going to send 15 deauthentication attempts to the router the access point trying to deauthenticate that client and then space hyphen a and we're going to specify the MAC address of the access point which is going to be the BSS ID and after that we're going to enter in hyphen C and then a MAC address of a computer on the system which is that station MAC address so I'm going to go ahead and copy that down here and specify it there. And then we can just go ahead and uh, notate down our interface name, which is WLAN0. Okay, so we can just copy that down here. And generally at this point, what we want to do is we want to proceed with this arrow dump command, let it run through. And so you want to start that arrow dump command for yourself. You'll see here that that WPA handshake is no longer there. And I'm going to open up another uh, shell console here. In this new shell console, we want to type in the airplay command that we had earlier. And I need to give myself admin to do that. Okay, great. Oh, there's my password. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and notate down the airplay command. And we want to make sure we do this while we have that dump taking place. And we can just hit enter. And we're going to see here it's sending deauthentication attempts to the router to basically deauthenticate the station already on the network. Uh, cause now authentication to take place at handshake we were talking about earlier. And if we switch over to other shell, we should see that a WPA handshake has taken place. And that means we've uh, obtained that little uh, salted hash that we needed. So I can go ahead and stop this. And I can stop this as well. I don't need that going anymore.